So we had a question, doing what? Why do you hate? So, so what the shirt says. Sorry, what I said when I was under card. First things first. Sorry for what I said when I was under card. I'm carved up now in this video. We got a question, doing what? Why do you hate Russell Brand so much? Why do you hate? Why I hate Russell? I don't hate Russell Brand. I made a reference to him in a recent video to saying what a puppet he is. He's essentially just a puppet. All right, we we have people like J uh, Russell Brand out there giving a little bit of a message, a little bit of a soft message, like, yes, you know, we can do something about the planet, you know, don't go vegan, though, because where do you get your protein, though? Vegan's expensive. I don't know what to all eat. Well, what should I do? Just these fucking flaky fucks. Again, I don't hate Russell Brand, but he's a flaky fuck. He's got so much media pull, but he knows if he says anything that's legit, boom, they'll fucking pull him from his little, uh, pull from the spotlight. And that's how it well work, works. But we let people like Jamie, the, the system lets people like Jamie get a little bit of foot in, give, a bit of, you know, give him a bit of exposure time. He talks a lot, he doesn't really fucking say anything, but we'll give him a bit of time out there and let the kids pretend that something's going on in the world. Meanwhile, Russell Brand, the multi-millionaire, made all his money from the banks. He walks out in front of a bank, oh, banks are bad, banks are bad, and then goes home to his condo, drives his fucking Ferrari 458 or whatever, making his money from the banks. <laughs> and it says, oh, banks are bad, banks are bad. They're like, what the fuck? Ja uh... I keep calling him Jamie Oliver. That's the next video. Russell makes his money from the banks, man. But he says banks are bad. <laughs> How the fuck does that work, man? So basically, Russell ran, super sellout, super flaky, has some okay things. I mean, okay, he's quit drugs, fucking awesome, good good work there. That's fantastic. Hats off to there. But this whole thing, oh, I can't be a vegan because I wouldn't want to eat, can't afford it, it's too hard, I'm in a food prison. This flaky nonsense, flaky nonsense. If Russell Brand said anything of real fucking substance, boom, he would be yanked from mainstream media because he, he's got such a platform. We don't want to educate the, the viewers. We want to indoctrinate them. Give them little seeds of freedom. Think they're free. You know what I mean? Have the prison walls around. Just put a little bit extra out there. Oh, look at you free. You've got freedom, mate. Look at people like Russell Brand backing up for you, man. He ain't doing fucking shit. Really? What's he doing? I had a mate the other day smoking cones in front of me saying, hey, you watch that Russell Brand guy on YouTube, oh, he's pretty cool. I'm like, if you're still smoking cones, the person who you're watching hasn't got much of a powerful message. And that's what we have. So I don't hate Russell Brand, just want to clarify. Don't hate him. I think he's flaky. Stands for fuck all, really. He's hypocritical, given the bank shit, but he's got all his money in the banks, earning money from him. Uh, but what the positives out of it, I give him hats off for getting off the drugs, being straight, clean. Um, he still talks like a junkie, looks like a junkie, but so do I. So but hats off to, to Russell for being clean. Again, I don't hate the guy, just my honest critique. And I wish people like that would have more courage and really fucking say what needs to be said instead of little dancing around the equation. This is what's wrong. I don't give any solution. And hey, guys, buy my book, Revolution. Come on, man. Let's get fucking real. Let's get really fucking real, please.